Okay, just so I don't forget this, from uh, ground to the negative of the battery or ground to the battery, I've got a wire connected from the Arduino to the battery pack, which is going into the emitter of a 3904 NPN transistor. The base goes through a 1K resistor into pin 5 in this case, and right now we're using pulse width modulation fade the LEDs up and down and then on the collector side we've got the negative of the LEDs with the positive connected in the battery pack and that's pretty much it brilliant yeah baby just gets better and better here's the lights in fading mode it's got a program that's uh, using pulse width modulation to increase and decrease the uh, voltage Next thing I'm going to do is uh, a music test to see how well the music stimulates this, but I'm so pleased that I can control these lights using one transistor and one resistor. Woo! Got a cool circuit here. This is an Arduino, this box here. It's representing a digital pin coming out through a 1K resistor, 1K ohm. In the base of a 2N3904, this is a NPN transistor. Got the emitter coming to ground. <clears throat> the Arduino also needs to come to the same ground. Uh, so take the ground pin on the digital side, the ground of the battery pack, and then the collector is coming into the negatives of the LEDs, and they got the positive coming back into the positive voltage. It's a really simple circuit. It's uh, right in there. A little transistor and a resistor and then here's the end of these strings check this out now I've got a program to blink on and off at random times stay on a random time and go off a random time you see that spot on the ground right about there you can see my shadow anyways This uh, is the first 80 meter strand I made for a water woman project. 80 meter goes pretty far. Cool. My cool little outdoor studio. Sure. See the spotlight on the ground. Well, it's probably about eight, nine feet. But there's a green spot. These work uh, better when they're a bigger distance. Thinking about diffusing these by sanding them down, and that will give them more of a soft, ambient, tight glow instead of long distance spot. Awesome man. Mm. Nice. It's a uh, 80 meter water woman project. It's been running all night. You see it on the ceiling there. Nice and bright. It's at 11 o'clock. Start the day. Time is now six. <coughs> so anyways, made it all night through the darkness. And probably more. Okay, <laughs> over here we have one of our Ningbo Sunboy solar kits. And uh just run it. When I close it, what I'm going to do is cut this wire, snippers, strip them, and then attach this over here to the 80 foot strand, and we'll see how well she does. Cool, well, just had this um, new charging circuit solar kit I got from Ningbo. This is China. Ningbo Sunboy. 
gonna check the voltage here. It was at 2.47. These are not even rechargeable. So it's doing a test. Whoa. Okay. Hey, 3.4. That's awesome. See how the light comes on when I shut the light. Seems to be uh, behaving pretty reasonably, not decreasing too quick. Nice. Got another circuit here, hang on. So what did we get off that? This was some, uh, one of these was kind of dead, it was about a volt. The others were about 1.5. And it's now 3.5. 3.7 we'll call it. So, this is a circuit I've been charging. It's got some um, rechargeable soon. Tap in there, in there. 2.87 Anyways, I've got a um, mismatched pair. Who knows if it was even going. <clears throat> it must have been. Anyways. Where's the LED there? Let's just switch. There we go. Lock the light. And so they got auto on, auto off, right? Nice, eh? What does the voltage do when I turn it on? It goes from 286 to 2810. Starting to fall into 79. That seems like a pretty good draw. It should be good. Awesome. <coughs> Awesome baby, we got some nice new, I think they're 3 millimeter, 5 millimeter um, white hats. They got a huge pool of uh, semiconductor in there. Check this out.